first of all, no, congratulations for Jerwin Alcaz for defending his title for the night time. Big congrats, Jerwin Alcaz. Ha, napakaganda ng laban. And of course, kudos din dito sa kalaban na niya, na sa si Jonathan Javier Rodriguez, na talaga namang hindi nagpatalo. No? Anyway, hindi nyo pa napapanood yung laban. Eh. Hanapin nyo na yung highlights. At this is my reaction. Ito yung nakita ko dito sa laban. Pag-usapan natin at saka isang tanong, pwede na ba siya? Kay Estrada? Kay Ayoka? At kung sino man champion sa Super Flyweight para mag-unify. Powercast boys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Mga chamba lang naman tayo, no? Mark Magsayag for 6, the unanimous decision. Anyway, Jeremy Lacaz and Jonathan Rodriguez has expected it's a war, it's not an easy fight. But then again, like what I said, level up. It was mataas ang level nito ni Jeremy Lacaz. And he showed that in the fight. I actually gave uh, a lot more rounds kay Jeremy Lacaz compared to sa... Yung 117, 111, baka yung pay score ko, no? Yung, yung official score po nitong laban nito is... Uh, 115, 112, 116, 111, 117, 110. Baka 117, 110 yung akin. Because I've seen Jerwin ang kaas. Talagang mas mabilis, mas malakas yung suntok. And the good thing about Jerwin is talaga nakapag-adjust siya. Tsaka kaya niya tumanggap ng suntok. Nakatanggap din siya ng to- suntok dito kay Jonathan Navier Rodriguez. And nakita naman natin sa mukha niya. Talagang uh, natamahan din siya. But kudos, hindi lang sa galing. Pero tibay na mukha at saka... Jerwin Alcahas is a very exciting fighter. And I'm sure PBC, Showtime, Tom Brown promotes on DGB promotion. I've seen that right now. And I hope he gets him a fight with the other champion. But uh, he gets more respect. And I mean, he is underrated, I think. no. And he deserves a fight against Chocolatito, Estrada, Rubisay, uh, Ayuka. Unification. One thing that I see here, I would like to comment as well. Itong uh, Bia Rodriguez, he fought. From first round to the 12th round, he said he's gonna pressure him. He, he tried to do that, pero talagang mas mabalis, mas magaling na talaga itong pambato natin. At sa 8th round niya, ano, nakatigim itong kalaban niya dahil talagang pinanatal siya doon ni, jo- ni Jeremy ng ahas ng kombinasyon na talagang pinagdad niya at na napabaksa. There are also instances na talagang left straight ito ni Jeremy ng kahas was there right in front of the face. Kala ko nga babaksak na itong si Jonathan ng Rodriguez, but that didn't happen, ano? At uh, talagang uh, tumayo pa rin, nakipagbakbakan. Um, there are things to improve on, of course, during the class. Dahil like what I said, natatamaan siya ng mukha. Buti na lang, kinakaya niya yung mga suntok niya. Maybe that defense needs to be improved. But overall, it was a very good fight and very entertaining indeed. Especially, unang-una siya dun sa main card. And I'm sure natuwan-tuwa yung mga Amerikano dito. And I'm sure, curious kayo na ngayon kung uh, ano ba, kain niyo na ba yung Estrada? Ano sa tingin niyo? Kain na ba niya yung Chocolatito, yung Gumbisa, yung Ayowa? Kain niya ba yung mga sikat sa Super Flyweight Division? I think he deserved to get a fight with any of those fighters next because I think they plan to move up to 118 pounds. That's gonna be an even harder fight. Um, but sure, may nakahas mo, man. Ako'y saludo sa'yo. Napakaganda. Nakipagbalikan ka. There's there's something kasi yung yung laban ni Jerry ng Kaas nakikipagsabayan siya in a way pero nag-iingat din siya and he moves back and forth talagang alam niya kung paano laruin itong si uh, Jonathan Abiero Trigues who was relentless. Yung po yung para sa akin ha. Uh, so para sa inyo anong nakita niyo sa laban ni Jerry ng Kaas is he ready for a fight against the other champion? I think pwede na ilaban na yan. I mean he's in his prime. And um, I think, pag, uh, lalo na ngayon, ha? ito pala isa, ha? one thing, eh, may nagsasabi kasi na ay, kinutulang ng hangin. Ng, I, I think it was just really hard fight. Talagang matibay din talaga yung ano. So, imposible talagang hindi ka mawala ng hangin o mapagod din kahit pa paano. And please, pagbigyan nyo naman, 2020 wala siyang laban kahit isa. Kahit sabihin natin nagtitraining siya, iba pa rin yung laban. And Jeremy Alcahas, even though ang tagal niyang hindi nakalaban, he still won that fight. So big congrats, 9 title defense against, I think this is the most title defense na of any boxers. Kasi nakita ko doon sa pinakita, yung 8 lang. Pangay na siya ngayon. So, will he defend it for the 10th time? Or will he unify at the same time? I hope, mag-unify and defense, 
para naman, mas masaya. Anyway, pausunod pa ako ka sports comment. Pag-usapan natin. At syempre, congratulate natin sa German ng kahas. Brother, ang galing. Ang ganda ng laban mo. Enjoy. Na-enjoy ako. And sa mga nag-enjoy dyan, comment. Syempre, subscribe with that notification bell. Salamat po.